when I get a plan, I get tunnel vision. I want things to work out just the way I planned them. Just like everybody else, it doesn't always work out that way. So you have to regroup. That's what I did. Here's what happened. I went on my property in Louisiana. I cleared a portion of it, popped the tent, and I got to work. For five days, I raked, I dug, labored, and slept in my tent. It was very rewarding. It was rewarding to see my land developing. I did have one power tool, which was a gas weed eater. Helped out a lot. Everything else, it was manual. I had a shovel, pickaxe, rake, and a machete. I think that's all. (laughs) But here's what happened. I quickly realized that this was hard work to do alone. Now, could I do it alone? Absolutely, yes, I could. But I wanted to enjoy the journey. I didn't want it to be so labor intensive as everything else had become in my life. Then my son called me. We spoke a little bit and he was like, guess what? I'll come down and help you in summer of 2024. It's like, good, okay, some help. That would be great. Now what? What would I do in the meantime? He also suggested that I go to Colorado. So, I did. I traveled about 18 hours, and I landed on Copper Mountain in Frisco, Colorado. So, what did I do? I took my tiny place of peace on the road. So, why don't you come and go with me and see my adventures and experiences that I find doing this? I think it's going to be more adventurous than I thought. Share the journey with me. Hope you enjoy it.